Well, I'll give you a hand. Oh, thanks. You know, making instant coffee on your own is a real nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you've really lightened up since you've been away. Oh, I hope that's a compliment. Yeah, 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 it is. So, it um, must have been quite an, an experience. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's a cliche, but it, it does alter your attitude, you know, being in the new culture. The way you look at things differently. What sort of things? Oh, money and work, that sort of thing. I'm thinking about not going back into law. Seriously? Yeah. Well, what will you do? Well, I don't know, really, but I think I've just spent too much time in my head stuck in litigation manuals, you know? Mm. I just need to chill out a bit and see what happens. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a new holly heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about sex? Will you look at that differently, too? <laughs> I don't believe you. You won't let this drop, will you? For what? It's just a general question, that's yeah, all. Yeah, 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 right. No, you want to know if I slept with Susie whilst we were on holiday. No, 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 I'm just concerned no, about you're, you. No, you're flaming nosy. It's got nothing to do with you. I don't want to turn you into a lesbian. Turning me into one? What are you going to do, wave her magic wand or something? You're unbelievable! Could you just tell me that nothing happened, OK? No, shut up. Uh, supposing something did happen? Did it? <laughs> you're so easy, you know that? <laughs> What's going on over here? Well, uh, Duncan thinks that you might have turned me into a lesbian. Oh, does he now? Yeah, he wants to know if we slept together on holiday. Well, it's a straight question. I, I think it deserves a straight answer. Yeah, you're right. Should you tell him? After three. One, two, three. What's your own business? business? <laughs> Hi. Where on earth have you been? Oh, I've just had some business to sort out. Right. You'll find out soon enough. Yes, I'd better or you'll be in trouble. <sighs> You've been gone hours. Oh, did you miss me? Mm, actually, yes. <laughs> Got so used to having you around 24 hours a day, I actually felt quite lost. Oh, for heaven's sake, don't tell Duncan. We'll never hear the end <laughs> of it. <laughs> He's so funny this morning. Oh. He can't bear not knowing, can he? No, it was funny. <laughs> But I, I think we should just cool it now. Oh, no, you're kidding. We can wind him up for weeks yet. Yeah, but that's how rumours get started. Before you know it, everyone will think you are gay. Oh, I don't care if they do. You will. There's still a lot of bigots out there. Anyway, why try and pretend to be something you're not? Maybe I'm not pretending. Don't be silly. No, I'm serious. So I told you about that girl, you know, that girl I had a crush on at school. <laughs> Look, half a female population have a crush on another teenage girl. It doesn't mean you're gay. But when we were away, I mean, didn't you ever think about it? Look, we made a deal. Yeah, I know we made a deal and we stuck to it, but it doesn't stop you thinking. Look, I really think we ought to drop this. Well, I thought about it. <laughs> that night that we stayed in the monastery, I thought that... If you suggested it, I would have said yes. Yeah? Well, I didn't. And I'm not going to. I value our friendship. I don't want to screw it up. Oh, well, me neither. Well, stop playing this stupid game. It's not a game. I'm just trying to work out how I really feel. Well, there's nothing to work out. You're straight. I don't get involved with straight women. We're friends, full stop. And what if I want more? Susie. Where are you going? I'm going to try and find somewhere else to stay the night. Susie, wait, look. Don't be so angry. Why are you so angry? I'm not some kinky dress you can just try on and take off when you want to. I've got feelings too, you know. Fine, thanks. Is Holly in? Yeah, I think she's here there. Hi. Still talking to me, then? Of course. Why shouldn't I be? Look, I'm really sorry about the up... <laughs> I'm sorry, really. Uh, me too. Phew. It's a relief, then. Look, the reason why I overacted last night, I just thought things were getting a bit heavy. I had to put a stop to it before anything happened we might have regretted. But the last thing I wanted to do was row with you. Oh, me too. Our friendship's too good to ruin. Sensitive. I'm not. Of course I love you. 
as a mate. You know how much your friendship means to me and that your family have accepted me. But, but I don't want to risk it by taking it further. But you'd like to. Honestly, I'm glad I never came up against you in court. <laughs> yes, Your Honour, I would. Well, so would I, so what's the problem? I just don't think it's right for you. And I don't want to be some sort of specimen for you to experiment on. No, it wouldn't be like that. And what about your family? Well, what's it going to do with them? Well, I don't want to be the seductress that's led you astray. Well, they wouldn't find out. Of course they would. Look, I just think it would be better for me to, to explore my feelings with someone who understands, someone who is a mate. Holly, I honestly don't think you're gay. I think you just want to try it out. Well, what's wrong with that? Because you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. What are all the wrong reasons? Look, I think this is a decision that should be left to me to make. <laughs> Looks as if she's been crying. Yeah, well, she spent the morning with these two. I'm not surprised. Hey. What's happened? Ah, uh, you tell her. It's not good for my blood pressure. <laughs> Well, the police busted Pete last night and he thought your mum tipped him off, so he got heavy with her. No. Oh, no, this is all my fault. Oh, great. Well, I phoned the police. I told them about the drugs. I thought that if they found something, Pete would be in custody by now. Well, he's not. He's out walking the streets with his knuckles grazing the pavements. Well, is mum OK? Well, she was a bit shocked more than anything else, but she's had it with Pete, though. We won't be seeing any more campaigns against him. Well, he must have really scared her. It's not like her to give up. That's just all too civilised, isn't it? Well, isn't there anything you can do? Well, I used to do Taekwondo once, no, but no, I don't no, really no, care. No, no. I, I mean your contacts. Oh, yeah. Surely you know somebody who could teach Pete a lesson? Oh, come on, this isn't the bill. No, but Pete is a real villain. Well, I know it's a lot to ask, but think about what we were saying earlier about us being friends, you know, and about my family. You'd be doing us all a really big favour. Leave what happens between these two next. First, Holly talks learned one useful thing from my brother. You can buy anything for the right fee. What have you asked your contact to do? Nothing heavy, don't worry. I'm not. He'll just be saying the same thing you've been telling Pete, only with more force. Uh, more force? What, get out the lock or? Or what? Look, it won't come to that. Get the message right the first time. There's no need to repeat it. A thugogram sounds perfect to me. Wish I was there to see it delivered. As long as you remember a thugogram costs. What's the going rate? About 300 quid each. How much? Well, I hope that comes with discretion. Well, how do you mean? Well, no risk of it getting traced back to us. I've told you, there's always a risk with something like this. Even though? No risk of what? White water <coughs> rafting. Um, in Nepal. Me and Holly. There's always a risk of capsizing. <sighs> <sighs> 